Hi everyone, I'm Lorraine. Welcome back to Chatelaine Makes. And I'm good. this will be two videos in the one. Okay, because I did another video um, either late last week. I think it was la late last week I did a video. I can't remember. Anyways, um, and I didn't upload it yet, so I'm going to tack it on to the end of this one. So I have some makes and I have a Timu haul. Okay, so we'll leave the Timu haul for now because I got some of my stuff on top of the Timu haul. So just give me a second here. I gotta reach over here. I forgot to get my book. All right, because one of the patterns I have was is this here now I didn't do the felt eyes so this book is I got this from Amazon this is pocket amigurumi 20 mini monsters to crochet and collect by Sabrina Summers okay and I can't remember how much I paid um, it is listed on the back at $21.95 for Canadian and $17.95 for US and $9.99 um, pounds for the UK. So, but I did get it off of Amazon. So I did this pattern here and here it is. So I just did this with a regular acrylic. Okay, and the on this one here it's sitting mine is standing up and it does stand up I think I think I think I thought I had it standing up in the other room anyways um, so that is this one here okay then I have now these are in no particular order that the way I made them so I have this um, pudding I think this is Puddington Pokemon. This is off of Ribbler. It's a free app spelled R-I-B-B-L-R. -B -B okay, and that's from there. So it's free patterns. Um, some of these are paid, I will tell you, and some are test patterns. But this was just a free pattern. Okay, now This was a test pattern from Ribbler. The pattern has been released on Ribbler. Okay, this is from Bluey. Um, it does have the felt eyes and the inner ears. And this is the back side. Now this one does sit. Okay, I had them sitting on a little table on top of my big table in the other room because I got a six foot table um, that people use their cr for craft markets and um, I got that to do a uh, mock, mock setup for I have a it's an exhibition in October it was supposed to be on the 5th it's been postponed because due to double booking to the 26th so that's on Ribbler did Care Bears, these two are, this is the paid pattern off of Etsy. Okay, first I did Grumpy Bear. So I did the, um, this just embroidered eyes. Now, I this was the size from the pattern, which is too big, you'll notice from the other one that I did. Okay, same with the mouth. Okay. Now for the tummy patches, it's supposed to be included in the pattern. This was from Etsy. I did contact the the person, the seller, and she did not get back to me. So I searched uh, online and I did get a few uh, patterns for the tummies. So I'm limited on what bears I can make. So, but I made this one first. It's got that little heart on the back side and this tail. Then I did 
Lucky Bear. Now this one, I just did it in a sitting position. It's got the uh, hearts on the paws. The tummy pattern is from where I found on online. It, it's a free one. I think it was off of pin, Pinterest. Okay, then the once again the nose was too big, the patch. And what I did was I Google searched um, to a crochet heart pattern and I used that and just made this. I have regular safety eyes on here. I am bro and I, then I just sewn the uh, eyebrows. This is double strand and I did it twice. It's got the little tufts of hair on the top. So I did him. Once again, paid pattern off Etsy. This here is a dragon pattern. This is a test pattern. So the safety eyes are from Timu and they have silver. So the eyes come, the white, this part around the, around the pupil is clear and then they have the little discs that are different colors you can put in there. Okay, so this is made with blanket yarn and faux fur from Michaels. Okay, so now this I had to shorten it. It was supposed to be a hundred, I think, 120 rows or something like that for the body. I had to stop at 60 because you'll see how long this is. It's got the wings here, the feet. Keep going. So, so it is like, it's got to be about three feet. Now to me and my husband, it looks more like an eel. So that was the test pattern So from Ribbler. That would be available on Ribbler. I'm not sure if the pattern's dropped yet or not. And then I, this one is paid pattern. It is the, another dragon. It is the Winnie. So I did this out of uh, velvet yarn and the faux fur from Michaels. And this is the Burnett Velvet as well. And the eyes again are from Timu. So here it is. My dragon. Now my horn my horns are a little back, but that's okay. And then so this I know is forty two inches long from the tip of its nose to the end of the tail. 42 inches. So I made that for my market. Okay. That's all I've got for my makes. I am in the process of doing uh, Baby Yoda, which was another paid pattern off of Etsy. I'm doing it in stages. So I have two different shades of green, a light and a darker green. And then, um, and it's the one in the basket that I'm making. So I've got the baskets done. I've got the heads done now because I had it, you'll see in that I posted a picture, I believe on my community tab, um, from when I went to Calgary last time for the hospital appointment. And I did those in the car, but I had to stop half the, the heads because they didn't have the right size safety eyes. So they now, the heads are complete. I got the bat and the baskets, got the ears done. I haven't attached the ears yet. And I got the um, the legs and the dress part or robe is done. So, and that uh, you use the peach for. And then there's another part that's cream. So I haven't done that part yet. So I'm glad I'm doing these in stages because I wouldn't want to do it all at once. So it's taken me, like I said, I started on the 6th. My appointment was the 6th of August and today's the 20th. So and then, so I got eyes and I did the eyes and worked on it more yesterday. So, but I had just got the eyes last week. And then I got more in this package than I'm doing now. So, there's my Timu. 
So I'm going to open this. So there will be some crinkling. Okay, so I ordered a few different eyes. Okay. So I got... Oh, I have to turn my light on. My husband calls this the search light. It's, it's a beacon. It burnt out. Um, the first week of August, it burnt out. And let me tell you, you don't realize how much you use it until you're... Keep, you go to turn it on and you can't. But that bulb, and it's like an ot light, but I got it from from uh, Mary Maxim. It's a fl the floor lamp that they have. And uh, and that was at least 10 years ago. And it was the original bulb that came with it. So I ordered a two pack from Amazon. I think it was um, $13 a piece or something like that. And uh, so I got that on the 17th, I think I got that, the delivery, the 16th or 17th, I'm not sure. It was like a short delivery, but anyways, um, I'm glad I have it, so I can see. So this is, does it say what size these ones are, uh, 18 inch, or 18 inch. Yeah, right. 18 millimeter, um, 50 piece. These are just plain black eyes with the backs. Okay, and there's 25 sets in here. Timu, all of this from Timu. I now I get my eye safety eyes there too. It's a lot cheaper. Okay, then I got. Now these are dragon and cat eyes, but I didn't realize that they are, I have some of these, but not as big. They are um, adhesive backs. They're flat. Let's see. So, but I'll, I'll find, I'll find something else to do with these. I can make, make them into a stitch markers or jewelry. I have the round bevel um, piece that you can Attack, stick that on. Okay, so I got that. Now this is this is an assortment. These are all eyes again. The, now these ones are black. So um, these were okay. This is 160 pieces. Okay, so 80 80 sets. And did I leave my phone in here? Yes, I will check and see what size assortment that is. So that's a fair size. 80 eyes, big ones. In there. I can see some big ones in there. So that is good. Okay. So. Okay, so 160 pieces. Now, I did not pay this price. They are now 1010. Okay, and it is, uh, does it say the sizes? Okay, so from uh, from 12 millimeter up to 30. Oh, pardon, pardon me, from 10 millimeter up to 30 millimeters. So just 10 pieces of 10 millimeters. Okay, and then we have, these are all 10s. So you get 10, 10, so five, five sets of 10 millimeter, 12, 14, 16, 20, 22, 24, and 30. Okay, so that's that. 
I'm going to pause this for a second. I have a message on here. Just give me a second. Okay. I had two messages. From, one for my mom and one for my son. Okay, so this is a diamond set. These are book uh, book markers. And this is the feathered ones. Take one out here. Okay. So there's one. Two. Three. Four. Five. Five or six. Oh, now I got them all out. There we go. All right. So it looks like there's six. There's this one, this one, these are cute, this one, oh look at that, left and right, <laughs> this one, this one, oh purple, and this one, this one's blues. So I got those, I'm going to sell those on my market as well. Now it's so six, and those are now four forty-two. So and oh, you can't see it, can you? That no, nope, can't see it. You see the video playing, but we don't want that. Okay, so that's that. Okay. Another set of plain black eyes. These are uh, 20 millimeters, so and 20 pieces, so 10 sets, like big black ones. You can see those. No, I think I'm missing something here. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, okay. One says it's supposed to be 200 pieces. So, eighteen millimeter. Because this one is 20 millimeters, millimeters, 20 pieces. This one's the 106 assorted. Okay. Okay, so I got that's that. That's that. 160. That's that one. Millimeter, twenty pieces. That's not that. That's this one. Twenty 
20 millimeters, 20 pieces. That's that one, okay. Then this one. Okay, this one is 18 millimeters. Oh, 50 pieces, okay. I was reading at the top, but it's assorted sizes. That's the five millimeter, you get 200. So 50 pieces, which is this one here. Okay, so we're all good. And then I ordered the other thing I got was these things to hold the curtains closed. They're magnets. They go on like lapel pins. Oops. There we go. Let's put on one on one piece, one side of the curtain, and the other one on the other, and then you can then they overlap and stay closed. Works great for my living room curtains. Okay, so that's all I got. We're at just over twenty. We're at twenty-one minutes just passed. So that is what I got today and what I've made so far. So my exhibition was supposed to be October fifth. So it's now October 26th, which gives me an extra two weeks. So that's good. Plus my surgery for my hernia. And uh, so that's like a two-parter. Is next Monday, the 26th of this month. So went to Calgary today and got back not that long ago. And... Um, almost got rear-ended coming back which is stupid some lady in a big black SUV with Saskatchewan plates and I'm in Alberta I was passing the truck transport and I had my cruise set for 110 and she came up to my back end I swear to God I thought she was gonna come right through to the back end, back seat and it's like she slowed right down and when I switched lanes to pass the truck, there was nobody behind me. So she came up to me from I don't know where. She had to been going at least 120, 125. And it's only 110. So anyways, I made it. Um, so I had to go for my pre-admissions appointment, so that's all done. So now I just gotta wait till Friday to find out what time I have to be at the hospital on Monday. So hurry up and wait. But I've been waiting decades to have the surgery done, so at least I get it done and get it fixed and over with. I'm looking so forward to that. All right. So hopefully I'll get this uploaded this evening. If not, it will be later tomorrow because I work um, 11 to 3 tomorrow. So that's all I have to say. Uh, it is hot here. Um, was 31 when I was close to home so I'm not sure let me see what it says here it's now 28 Celsius and no rain no rain so anyways uh, that's all I have hope you have a nice week and uh, enjoy and take care and until next time this Lorraine Shadowline makes saying don't forget to stop and smell the coffee and the flowers. Bye for now. Hello everyone, welcome to Charlene Mix. I'm Lorraine. Sorry about the glare on my glasses. Anyways, I got another team order. I have two more that I'm waiting on. So I only opened it up. Here is my package. So I just opened the top. All right, so let's see what did I get. Now, I checked to see with my order to see which I got um, price adjustments on because some of them I did, but it doesn't show me, and it doesn't show me the, the price that I ordered at, okay? So with that being said, so I got this here. Excuse the crinkling while I open... 
there. Now this is a case with a bunch of smaller Okay, let's see if we can get one out. Oh, with a bunch of smaller ca cases in there. Um, just what it's like. I got this for to put some of my safety eyes in. So that they're in one spot and not in a bag like they are right now. So, that's my one item. Now, I also got this one here. It goes this way, actually. This, this same thing. These cases are a little bit bigger, so hopefully what doesn't fit in the smaller one will fit in this one here. I'm not going to open that up. You don't. Some people don't like crinkling, so let's... Um, plus, I did get some more of the regular um, safety, uh, stitch markers because um, with some of the crocheting that I'm doing the prep for my um, market coming up in October it got pushed back a couple of weeks but it's still in October um, I've been doing some staging with it so I've got uh, the pattern for the Baby Yoda in like the basket and so I've done that in, in parts so I got half the heads done and I made six so I got half the heads done because I was traveling um, for a medical appointment and I brought that with me and I did it in the car and I didn't bring uh, I did bring some safety eyes but the ones I had were too small so I only did half the heads. Uh, I did get some safety eyes in, but not the size I need. So the next or one of these two orders that I'm waiting on have safety a bunch of safety eyes in them. So um, I should be able to finish those off. So um, with that being said, the stitch markers markers come in handy uh, because some of it I don't um, their pieces are not complete so I have to pick up and carry on where I was so they need the stitch markers so I don't lose my spot and they and they don't come undone so that's why I got the stitch markers okay oh and actually I got a big pack and a small pack so now I have plenty so I don't have to worry about um, with the staging that I have enough uh, stitch markers. Okay. Password book because I have it written down in another book and I'm this book is a lot smaller and it's alphabeticalized so it'd be easier for me to find my passwords because right now some of it is on the inside of a book, the book so I have to take it off, take it out, open it up, and then I have to look up and down to find out where um, the one password is that I need because I've got them all over in there. So this way keeps it more organized. Now, I'm playing Fishland, uh, and I didn't realize that I had changed one of my items, and I changed it to password book so I will have two which is kind of nice because if I'm in the other room the uh, the book will be there I don't have to come back in here especially in the mornings when my husband's sleeping so I don't have to sneak in so I got that and that I know I only paid three something for okay oh <laughs> more This here, sorry for the crinkling again. Come on, let go. Get out. There we go. 
This is a stand for business cards, which be good for my tables when I'm doing the craft markets. Okay. This here, now I think I have another one of these ordered which is fine because this is for uh, dry erase boards. So it's the room so you put your eraser and your markers. Now I have two dry erase boards. I have um, one in our hallway by the, by the main bathroom. And the other one is on my fridge. So right now I have a little cup in my fridge, but I don't have room to put the eraser. So this gives me this and it's magnetic. So that's that. Okay. I'll reach for my scissors. Oh, it doesn't say what it is, it's just numbers. I think I know what this is. More crinkly. Sorry for the shaking, you're on my lap again. This here is okay. I think this was supposed to be a, this some kind of shelf. This small. to see how it goes together. Oh, I think I got it figured out. Too many pieces. Oh, I guess it's supposed to go up here. Yep, snaps in there. Okay, anyways, it is a display shelf. I didn't realize it was this small. Okay, so we've got our little opening here with a little lip. Just gonna put that there. Shelf on the other side. Now I know I have this lopsided, but um, and it's got the little bit of a lip here. So I'm going to um, put some items on this on my table, hopefully, for my markets. And then I think this is my last one. Yeah. Now I seen a pair of these similar online for a hundred, like over a hundred dollars. These are the hiker shoes, very lightweight, and it's like walking on your bare feet. So now this is a seven. Hopefully they this is the size I need. So and I'm off for 
for a few days off work so I will give them try them out um, and let you know how these are so then they do come in di different colors this one is I don't know if you can see that you can't really tell it's pink white with pink they have um, black with black several colors so and it looks like it's got a good bottom on it and it you know quite flexible but anti-slip yeah it's got quite the grip so so I'm looking forward to seeing how these work out hopefully they do if they work out really well and they fit good then I'm going to order um, different color and that's all I got uh, right now I am working on another Care Bear I am working on Lucky Bear so I got part now I like to do the extremities and stuff that you have to sew on after like I like to do it before so where is oh okay and here is here is this tummy patch this is the stem here and you've got the four the four leaves for the clover got that done I got my now my hearts this pattern the hearts are way too big for the rest of it so I found another pattern online and I wrote it down and it's a lot easier you do it in a magic circle so I haven't done that yet so I need to redo and I got the ears the inner ears done the inner ears so I have to do the outer ears and I have to do the heart patches for the feet and one for the nose and one red one for the back side. They, apparently they got one over on the, the back of their hip. So that's all I got. That's what I'm up to. Um, my surgery, my stomach is on the 26th of this month. Uh, we went for the appointment on the 6th. We were told about three months which would put it beginning of November. So what I didn't know is I got put on the short list, but I got put on the top of the short list. So thankfully that's good. Uh, I go next Tuesday for another consult before my surgery on the following Monday, the 26th. So, and I'm still prepping for the um, market Ex exhibition in October so my apologies if I haven't um, it's been I know it's been a while since I uh, put a video uploaded a video so that's what I've been doing prepping for this for the exhibition and uh, this first time I'm doing this one so hopefully um, it turns out really well so that's all I have. Uh, it is Friday, the 16th of, I was going to say September, 5th, 16th of August. And we have, um, we're, temperature's 24 outside. It is overcast, cloudy, but it's smoky, but not nearly as smoky as yesterday. Yesterday was really bad with the smoke from the fires. So today isn't as bad, but we do have an air quality advisory um, until Saturday so unless they change it and extend it longer and my voice is getting hoarse so I will finish this up so until next time this is Lorraine from Chatelaine Makes saying don't forget to stop and smell the coffee and the flowers bye for now <music>